Hello, Astorians. This is Mayor Bruce Jones with a COVID-19 update for April 23, 2021. First, thank you all for your perseverance and your grit over the past 13 months of this pandemic. So many of you have been so generous in supporting local businesses and purchasing uh, more carry out food in the last year than you had uh, probably in the last 10 years. And just generally being supportive of your community and your neighbors by following the public health guidelines. Despite the efforts of so many, Oregon is unfortunately suffering a fourth wave of infections with uh, new COVID-19 variants surging through the state. In fact, this morning, the governor announced that Oregon is now second in the nation for the most rapid growth in infectious spread. This is not where we want to be right now. Additionally, hospitalization rates are dangerously high. There are increasing hospitalizations of younger people and people with no underlying conditions. Within our own medical region, Region 1, there are hospitals that are no longer able to accept transfer patients from Columbia Memorial or Providence Seaside Hospitals. So these trends are all going in the wrong direction. Today, Clatsop County was moved from moderate risk to high risk. This hurts our local businesses and delays our economic recovery. The governor announced today that if trends continue, next week she may remove the warning week policy, which provides a week grace period before moving up in risk category. So what can all of us do to reverse these trends and get us back on track to opening up our businesses and resuming doing the things that we all love? The most important step we can all take is to get vaccinated. The sooner that as many people as possible are vaccinated, the sooner the state will remove these restrictions. If you've gotten your vaccination or made an appointment to do so, thank you. If you have family, friends, neighbors, or coworkers who are reluctant to get vaccinated for whatever reason, please encourage them to look at the actual statistics on vaccine safety and encourage them to help us all get back on track to a normal life by making that appointment and getting vaccinated. Quite frankly, those who don't get vaccinated will cause all of us to continue suffering under these restrictions through the summer and possibly into the fall. On the other hand, if we all sign up and get vaccinated and keep following the other public health guidelines, avoiding unmasked social gatherings, we'll see our numbers drop and we'll start moving back towards normal this summer. I'm looking forward to getting my second shot on May the 1st. You can find out everything you need to sign up for a vaccine through the Clatsop County website or by calling County Public Health at 503-325-8500. I wanna thank you again for continuing to help keep our community safe and moving us all closer to putting this pandemic behind us. Thank you.